What's going on guys? It's Gathalion and more than after kill, we're back here in Borderlands 1. Game of the Year edition. On Steam! On Steam! <laughs> Shit. Yeah. And in this episode, we're gonna cover something that we both did a video on earlier in the week, and that's the Vita version that's just around the corner. Yeah, that's a uh, April. April uh the Dell, the Dell website leaked it. Did, I, I don't know if I trust that. I don't Fuck. um I don't know, GameStop says May 31st. Yeah, but GameStop is GameStop. They, That's true. They, they always put that on there as like a, a last, like this is, it's, it, they say like it's coming out the second quarter fucking 2014, you know what I mean? So they're like, yeah. oh, May at the latest, you know what I mean? Yeah, so if it's coming out in April, that's not good. Cause I don't think it's ready. Uh, well, have you played it yet? I have not played it yet. Neither have I, and I wanna, I wanna remain hopeful for it. And I'm, I'm trying to. I don't like to trash things too bad until I've actually played on it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's. That, I mean, that's fair. But if you, if you look at it, we all knew deep down inside that this wasn't gonna be a console quality. Uh -uh. It's, it's a portable. You, whenever you hear a portable version of a game that's coming out, you're, you're, you pretty much expect it to be not as good. Yeah, not as good. It's probably going to run not as good. It's going to have watered down but everything. Yeah. You kind of hope there's more than three psychos in the in the southern shelf. Thing. <sighs> right? I, I mean... I, I, didn't even, I didn't even notice that. I was spending so much time worrying about, about, about the rate. control scheme. Yeah, frame rate and control scheme. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> I don't. We just got gearboxed. Yeah. So yeah, uh. you didn't notice. All right, that, that's that's funny because that's that that's so, that says something about the two different sides of gamers. God is more of a guy. I, I just jumped out. <laughs> um, I want to let you know that that was a bad jump in, idea. jump in, jump in. <laughs> I just jumped back in. Okay. Mordecai's a badass. He's jumping all over cars. He don't give a shit. I don't know. He but doesn't. That, that, that shows the, the technical side of God. He likes to worry about the frame rate and controls. And I'm more worried about how the game's actually going to play. Like, like as far as, like, mechanics. Well, not mechanics, but, like, why? I don't. What I don't the know. fuck? I was on my head. I'm driving. Where are we going? We're going towards the green thing on the compass. That helps. So... Yeah, I, I, I worry more about, like, the fun factor and how many enemies there are. And guys, we're worried about the technical side, the, the frame rate and control. So let's go ahead and speak about the technical side, the frame rate and control. Okay, well, um, so your your grenades and, um, oh, your, your grenades and your action skills are tied to touching the front screen, which I think is Wait, that's bad because you, yeah. I, I thought it was the touch screen. Yeah, no, the, the front touch screen. So there, all right. So there's two touch screens. Yeah, there's the front touch screen, and then there's the rear touch pad, which is where melee and sprinting is bound. Yeah, I don't like that sprinting is bound to a touch screen. You you think out of all the controls, they're gonna bind to touch screen controls? Sprinting is one of those that needs its its its, its own button. Or, it needs a button, but there's not enough buttons. But, but wouldn't you just put one of those features that I've seen in other games where you have auto sprint? As soon as you push up, you're automatically sprinting. Or or double tap to sprint, and then yeah, you yeah, like I mean, there's 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 other intuitive ways to get around that without having to map things to a touchpad. Um, you That's know what, Killzone? Right right? uh, yeah, we're, look at this guy. Yeah, we're going. Oh shit! <laughs> um, you know, Sorry, you know what, uh, you know what, Killzone mercenaries did. On the Vita? Oh well, we're dead. No, we're not. Yep, we got. I got run over by the Lancer. Um, Did you? Mercenaries, yeah, mercenaries put small um, touch touch buttons on the on the front screen. All right. Um, for for shit like sprinting. I don't think I don't think putting things in on the rear pad is a good idea. Get in. I'm trying to. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Um, but then, but then that again brings us back to like you're gonna cover up your touch, your 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 screen when you're hitting buttons, and I don't like that. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like they could have, I don't know, 
there's no real solution for it other than not putting it on the Vita. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it was it was forced onto the Vita yeah, but, um, because but Sony that, wanted something. You think it was Sony or Gearbox? I, I think it was Sony, to be honest with you. Are you and sure? Because think... this has Gearbox's stamp all over it, you know, kind of, you know, getting, you know, milking some money off of a lesser Oh, they got paid. They got paid. Oh, yeah, but... Gearbox got paid for having this. I, I guarantee you, Sony at least dumped some money to put, you know, this game on the, the Vita for sure. But I think, I think the choice for what Gearbox has done is, you know, giving it to Iron Galaxy and be like, hey, make us a Vita version of this game. I think, I think that was unfair of them to ask Iron Galaxy to do that. I I agree with you. I feel um, like that should have been held internally by actual Gearbox developers. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're gonna be putting like this is the first time Borderlands is gonna be portable. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Other than Nvidia Shields and lots of know-how. Lots of know-how. It's it's not easy. Um, and you get it. There's there's so much behind it, but and that's that's the, not relevant. The Vita is infinitely more portable than a shield. I think um, it can fit in your pocket, sort of. I'm talking I don't, about I you ain't gonna be busting out a fucking shield on a plane. I, I played my shield the entire plane ride. Were you playing when Borderlands 2? Um, I was playing uh, Sonic not. Adventure. No, I was playing Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Yeah, but you were playing Android games. That's the point. I was playing Dreamcast games. Well, yeah, all right. You were playing emulated games from an older game system. You weren't actually playing, you know, Borderlands 2 or, or a high-end game. Not I, yet. I don't. I mean, I, I, there's some things I, I, I know. Out. What are you getting out for? <laughs> I hit the wrong button. All right, you're used to Borderlands 2's buttons, aren't you? <laughs> now we got to get out. I'm gonna shoot this guy first. Be <sighs> like that. How do you like? That? Um, I, I, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, we were talking about Gearbox sucking ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think Sony approached them, and was like, "Hey, here's some money." And then Gearbox made the decision to be like, all right, but we're not fucking doing it. But we like money, so, okay. I feel like, I feel like I would have rather had a, a scaled down Borderlands spinoff. Did you see, there was, there was like a deviant art about a year ago of a Borderlands game that looked like metal slugs. That was like a side oh, scroller. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Borderlands Legends. No, no, that was actually a game. This, this wasn't actually a real game, but it was like it looked like a 16-bit retro style Borderlands that was like Contra and Metal Slugs, yeah. but it's still, yeah, that looked fucking awesome. But it's not a real thing. But I feel like it would have been a better use of the license rather than basically True. raping this game. It's, you know, that's what they're doing. It's, it's gonna be. I don't know. I would have. I'm gonna get it. I would have liked to see a smash and beat 'em up arcade style game called Mr. Tor blows up the ocean. Blows up the ocean. That's what I would. <laughs> yeah. Sink. Get the badass pyro. All right, he's up. gonna explode. Yeah, he is. How about I throw a bird at him? Oh. There you go. The bird did nothing <laughs> again. Again. Uh. But you were saying that you only saw like three psychos. Yeah, three psychos in Southern Shelf Bay, of all places. That place, I, I, I purposely, in my video, ran through Southern Shelf Bay because that is that is one of my most hated places inside the game. Okay. Specifically because it's fucking packed full of a lot of assholes. It is, it really is. And, I mean, what the fuck, Minerva? She's being a bitch. Yeah, hell yeah, she's a bitch. You're not fun. <laughs> I got you. I just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the the PS Vita version is gonna give us what we want, and that's that's a, you know, a, a semi portable version of Borderlands. But I feel like it's still, it's gonna leave that gaping hole. It's it's gonna make people. There's the same way that it, Borderlands 2 is right now. It's gonna make people wish it was the game that it could be. Uh huh. Yeah. The game that it should be, and it's just Ooh. it's kind of sad. Did we get an orange? Do we get a blast hammer? 
<laughs> oh, you scumbag. Oh, I love the hammer. Oh, you would, too. Mm, hammer. You can have this brute. It's painful. <laughs> Fuck you and your brute. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, like, uh, going back to there only being three... Uh, uh, psychos on screen. That's that just that comes down to. No, I'm not talking about on screen. I mean in the entire area. Oh, are you serious? The entire yes, area? Yes, yes. There is uh, one in the beginning. One came out a door, and there is one all the way at the end of the docks where Midgemon spawns. Now, did you did you notice to an all around lower spawn rate? Uh, yeah. The, like even when he was fighting bully mongs, you know that area in the Southern Shelf Bay. Where there's usually like six to seven, maybe eight bully mongs that come out. Sure. He was yeah. only fighting two. What what I think that boils down to is lack of memory and not being able to have the different types of AIs. Oh yeah, alive. definitely. I, I I I understand exactly what's going on there. It's technical limitations of the console, but again, that that's where you you go ahead and look. It's like, man, do we do we really want to go ahead and go through with this? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna take away from the experience overall. It's all relevant, you know. It's I don't know. Hmm. I'm still I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm gonna get it if only just to let other people if they sh know if they should get it, you know. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm on the fence about it. I I want to check it out because I've never played a Vita, and that's why uh -huh. I really wanted to stay away from in my video talking about you know oh man control schemes this that. Because I'm not familiar with the Vita's control scheme at all. Oh, okay. So I See, because wanna... I've played, um, what is it? Uh, Killzone Shadowfall streaming to my Vita. And it used the exact same control scheme that Borderlands 2 right. is going to use. And it is dismal. It's, it's that it's, bad? It's so bad. Yeah. Is, is it? Does it take away from the actual experience of the game? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because, like, okay, those the sticks on the Vita are really bad. Are they really that bad. bad? They're really bad. Like, are they the cheap plastic kind that you see uh -huh. with, like, the Xbox One now and shit? Um, they're worse than that. I, I don't really? like the Vita sticks at all. Yeah, because they don't have a lot of freedom of movement to them. So to actually, like, use the... Ant like, because you're, you're pretty much turning at full throttle or you're not turning. Or, or you're, like, tap turning. You know what I mean? All right. Like, like imagine that you can only turn... No, 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 I, I, I get what you're saying. It, it's very yeah. fidgety. Uh, it's super fidgety. That, that's the funny thing is because my this, the controller I'm using right now is actually built like that. I have a scuff controller, and okay. it's built for no slow turn at all or no uh, flex in the movement. So if I tap my, my stick, like like right here, I, I'll tap it. Uh -huh. I'll tap it. Uh, which, which way is the spin? This way. <laughs> all right, if I tap it, I'm going that far. That's just okay. tap, you know what I mean? Sure. It's, uh, you know, it is what it is, but I mean, I... You I, still have a, you have a still, f like, a full stick range of movement. It's just, is it more sensitive? Yeah, it's or? just more sensitive, and it's it's stiffer. It feels, okay. kind of feels like there's springs in there almost. Like, spring-loaded. Okay. I like it. I love it. Because <laughs> when I'm moving, I have the tension on my controller, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I, I, I like that, but for what you're saying, it, it, it feels like... Like, uh, like the N64 analog stick. The sticks are just tiny, is, is what it is. Uh, uh, all right. They're, they're really not good for first-person shooters. So, outside of Borderlands at all, let's just, let's talk about this real quick. Is the Borderlands, I mean, is Borderlands, is the Vita just a bad platform in general? It hasn't gotten the support it needs. I mean... A, I mean, a platform I mean, is well, only as successful the as the built. software. It has no shoulder buttons. It has touch pads that make up for extra buttons that it's missing. You said it has bad, you know, bad thumbsticks. It, it sounds like to me that the Vita is just a bad system. Um, I prefer the circle pads on the 3DS to the thumbsticks on the Vita. That's a bold statement, Cotton. <laughs> that's 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 how I feel, dude. I those those um circle pads. If if the fucking if the 3DS had two circle pads built in, I would say it's, it's a, it would be a vastly superior system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hands down, like no question about it. That's a that's a very bold statement there. Oh, I leveled yep. up! Yay! Yeah, you did. 
Did you level up? Yeah, you did. Um, I just got 39 like a minute ago. Oh, uh, shit. Is the Vita a bad system? I mean, no, because the thumbsticks, they work for certain kinds of games, like platformers, they're fine for. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like the system is suited for first person shooters. I don't think it is. The controls aren't there for it. All right, so you're saying you're saying it's more geared for like platformers and shit. Just like for for, for a casual gaming experience. Yeah, and you're, Borderlands you're... isn't always casual gaming experience. Well, Gearbox themselves have strayed away from that. Mm -hmm. We've talked about that plenty of times. We were like, remember, like right before we started this, we we're like, let's talk about scaling the true vote hunter mood. And I was like, we've talked about that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Yeah, but I, I still think, you know. But you know, I, I think I think we had shades of the this system not being the Borderlands Vita not being up the park. I, I remember it, I made a video a while back when I when I broke news that the uh, Vita version wasn't gonna have half of the DLCs in it. And we discussed yeah. that on your stream before, like, you know, why would they do that? Is is the you know, is the Hammerlock DLC that badly optimized that they can't get it to run on the Vita? And I, I think now we have our we have our answer. And the it's, it's either that. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's. I, I don't think there's enough memory, um, and there's gonna be a lot that needs to be done to get those DLCs on there. Mm -hmm. But I think also a lot of it is they want to have a, a carrot on a stick to spend money. You know, I I think uh, those DLCs will eventually show up, but you're gonna have to buy them. Yeah, but they're they're gonna have to really deliver on that product to get people to buy the DLCs on the Vita, though. Yeah, I agree. Because, I mean, you think about it, if I'm buying Borderlands 2 on the Vita, it's just so I have something to play if I'm on a plane or a train somewhere out there. Yeah. Am I really going to care that I don't have the Hammerlock DLC on a fucking plane? No. No. Not really. You're not going to play to 72. Yeah, I think it goes up to 61. Yeah, because it only has the first, uh, first upgrade pack. Yeah. So it only goes up to level 60, which is actually pretty good because... I felt like even at level 61, the game was more balanced than it is right now. And yeah, it was it was it wasn't too bad. I remember my first time going against Terra Morphus in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode was a wide awake, and I was like, God damn it! <laughs> I, I walked in there with Infinity pistols and no ruby. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, I got this. No, I didn't. I did not. No have problem. Uh, but no, I I, I think. Like I said, for those of you guys out there that want Borderlands on the go, it'll it'll satisfy you. I, I guarantee you it's going to be fine, but don't expect a console quality port. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest about it. I, I'm, I'm not going to just shit all over the version when I get it. Because I understand why people want the mobile version. You're going to take it to the bathroom and be like, I want to shit all over it. I'm going to literally shit on this shit. No, I mean... I know what you want out of it, and it's really cool for PlayStation uh, people because you can you can take your your PlayStation 3 save over to it and say work on it on the go, and I think that's a cool feature. That's a, you know? that's a cool concept. That's something that uh -huh. a lot of people have been really wanting in video games is be like, hey, I don't want to lose project progress. Like I know a lot of people they ask me, they're like, hey, if I uh, I mean this is like a really silly question, but they're like, if I buy Borderlands 2 on the PC. Well, I get to keep my all my DLCs. No, no, no. You, that's a completely different platform. But I feel like that if they were able to offer you the different the, the chance to move your saves across platform at least, that would that would make a world of a difference. It would. Because so many people have so many different platforms anymore. They have different friends on different platforms. When is when is cross platform multiplayer gonna be a thing? Never. You wanna know why? It needs to be because fucking Microsoft and There's Sony. Too much money. Too much money involved in fucking exclusives and all this time released exclusives and you know yeah. buy our console. Oh, you know you own our console. Well, guess what? The headset you have doesn't work on fucking PlayStation. It works on Xbox only. Now you know what I mean? Or you got to yeah. use this controller with this adapter. It, it, it's what I like to call the Nintendo effect because Nintendo 
loves their adapters and peripherals back in the day. <laughs> well, even Nintendo has said that they they would be down for doing cross-platform yeah, multiplayer. They, it, would, it would benefit from getting everybody else's net coding. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we can't figure this shit out. They're like, they're like, what do you mean people won't want to be identified? But what am I getting shot by? Um. Oh, there's a guy floating in midair above me. Just saying. Oh, I see him. Yeah. How about you? You got that? Me? No, I don't got this. You look like you got it. I don't got it. <laughs> you got him. Uh, it's too late for this shit, guys. Actually. <sighs> Holy shit, it's only 10 o'clock at night. It's only 10 o'clock. Dude, I am really? so Dude, tired right now. Okay, listen, I was up until about 2 a.m. last night with my kids throwing up. Fuck sick. yeah, you woke me up at 9 o'clock this morning, asshole. I woke you up? <laughs> yeah, Skype going. Yeah. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I, I was I up till about 2 and... Then I got to get up at six and get the kids ready for school. Like, cause they, they were, this morning they were like, we feel better. And I was like, fine, you're fucking going to school. Hell yeah. Cause it's you know, if you ain't running a fever. Or whatever the fuck you watch. Yeah, nah dude, fucking. And cause my wife's home sick too, so. Mm. <sighs> it's been a rough 24. Oh dude, trust me, I feel you man. I, I feel like I hit a brick wall today cause I mean, like I said, I, I passed out on the couch this morning editing videos uh -huh. at like, like 6 a.m. And it was like 9.30 when your ass was beaming me on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm up. I might as well go get some lunch. Why do I sound like Mordecai now? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm up. <laughs> now that I'm up. Time to go get my bird. <laughs> Man, because I, I get up at 6.30 every day, regardless. That sucks. Um, it does suck. But I go out to breakfast every morning. Yeah, you go out by yourself. Yeah, it's awesome. Selfish bastard. Dude, it's so awesome. My wife's at work, kids are at Because, dude, I, I'm, a, I'm a creature of habit, okay? All right. So so I like, I like to get up, get the kids out the door, and then go to breakfast, and you know, I have my coffee, I have all my breakfast, and then I come back, and yeah, that's when Belgian I do. Waffle. I have a Belgian waffle, bacon, and two eggs every morning. Every morning. Every morning. How much do you tip? I tip 30%. You're a lying bastard. I'm not a lying bastard. No, dude, because if you gonna... really were a creature of habit, it would be the same every day, and you would know exactly how much it is. It, okay, how much do I tip? It is 11.97, and I tip $5. Which I think is over thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, thirty percent would yeah. be like three bucks, well, four bucks. Because she she doesn't charge me for my coffee, uh? so so I give her the extra like big baller gosh. <laughs> well, no, because I used to be a server, so I know that move. Oh, you, know? you were a server, eh? I was, yeah, I was a server for a long time, dude. Oh, is that what you used to do? Um, I used to do that when when I started YouTube and. I was actually uh, a manager at a restaurant. Up, oh, up, oh, overshot that. We hit the rim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I hated, I hated managing a restaurant. It's so stressful. Yeah, working in a restaurant blows ass. It really does. Fucking, I worked at a couple fast food restaurants, which really sucked ass. But I was a teenager then, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. But uh, man. Managing a restaurant's got to blow balls. Why? Damn it. Why, guys? Why? Here, you can do it. You can switch by hitting Y. I didn't know. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this episode's never going to end. I don't even know how long I lost track on the counter. Uh, It's going to be about by the time we get up. <laughs> it's gonna be about by the time we get into prison. <laughs> that was, that was not supposed to happen like that, guys. I understand. I just wanted okay, to turn you're... around and the cars. Yeah. Like, I want to flip. The mistake I'm making is I'm going too fast, and you're you're taking it in nice and easy. Why? I remember this from my goddamn let's play that I did by myself on my Q and A. It took me 45 uh -huh. minutes to get through that hole. Give me one more try. No! We're, I'm gonna get one more try. There it is, Booyah! perfect. Booyah! <laughs> See, you're all like, I wanna get a hole. Like, I, I, I got 
more experience in the hole than you. <sighs> but I got, you know, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm a creature habit. I do my shit in the morning. I do my YouTube content after I go out to breakfast. Right. And then I, yeah, it's creature habit. I, I, I haven't woken up to an alarm clock in like seven years. I don't even wake up to an alarm clock. I wake up to, oh, daddy? Well, that's an alarm it's, clock. It's just a really it's morning time. On there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my normal alarm clock has the Guile's theme on it. Does it really? Yeah, it does. I feel like you've ruined the Guile's theme for me. Why did I ruin the guy? What are you talking about? Ruined. What are you, fucking Stewart from Mad TV? <laughs> Why did I, I ruin the do? Guile's theme? <laughs> Watch what I can do. <laughs> Look what I can do. I did not ruin the Guile's theme. You ruined the Guile's theme for me, at least. But I, I remember when the Guile's theme, I remember badass shit was about to happen. And then now I see Goth just overusing it. Everything you do is guy. No, it's not everything I do. Yeah, it's God, in, God it's in, gets up and he walks into the fucking into the diner every morning and he's like he fucking pulls out a boom box like 80s style on his fucking. Like shut that shit off, asshole. <laughs> what is it gonna be, darling? You want your eggs and coffee again? <laughs> uh, oh shit! I initiated travel. I I know you did. We're in the lockdown palace now. Wonder why? Why is that? It doesn't matter why. I fucking love the rock. All right, guys, let us know what you're thinking about the Vita version, because I'm worried about it. Mac is Mac is uh he's, he's I'm holding off. Cool. He's, I'm you know listen, I want it to be good. We okay, know you people want it to be good, but you're set. You've already trashed it, guys. But I want it to be good. But <laughs> but logic doesn't dictate it to be great. No, at the best, you're gonna ex expect a watered down Borderlands to experience. I, I wanna know when playable became the golden standard. You know what? We're gonna, what? We're gonna explore that in the next episode. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching. Do the outro, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, don't that forget. Was smooth. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying the series. Because who knows, we might take this into other DLCs. But we might not. If we don't get enough of those thumbs up, they keep us going. Yeah, it gives us motivation to make more videos. To make more videos. For you, for you motherfuckers. That watch our who watch our videos. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see you guys later. later.